The NEC Classic Motor Show is a highlight of the motoring calendar, and the 2022 show was no exception, with a fantastic array of cars, displays and people. Thanks to everyone that came to the Classics World Stand to meet us and to see the Sierra. It's impossible to see everything at this show, but here are just some of the team's favourite cars throughout the halls. But first, our friends at Lancaster Insurance are running monthly giveaways. You can win all sorts, from experience days to tools, restaurant vouchers and tech. So click the link below at the end of the video to enter their latest competition. I've been quite impressed by extraordinary examples of ordinary cars. I think that's been a real theme of the show. There's a wonderful Nissan Cherry on the Pride of Ownership stand. On the Maguire Showcase is the BMW 316 and E30. There's this obviously our own Sierra. So I've been quite impressed with that. But the car that I really want to take home is a very early Mini 1275 GT in glacier white with red stripes on the British Mini Club stand. A very early example of a 1275 GT on an H-Ridge, uh, one of the very first hydroelastic cars. But the main reason is because I have a glacier white 1275 GT with red stripes and that's kind of a vision of how it would look finished. So it's real good motivation for me to get started on my own project. Everywhere you look, something catches your eye. I really love the Yugo Sana on the Lancaster stand because again, that's something ordinary, something you won't see anymore anywhere else, just sort of encapsulates that, along with all the prestige cars, the Astons, the Rolls Royces, the Jags, the Porsches. It's just, there's no other mix like you'll find at this event. And that's what I really like about it. Absolutely love the Classic Mode Show this year. 2022, big audience here. Lots of nice mix of families as well. Great to see the young enthusiasts out here getting inspired by the classic car scene. Fantastic variety of cars and of course, crucially, the clubs. If I was to pick my favourite Jaguar, however, I wouldn't necessarily look at the club stands. I'd look at uh, an XJC that's on the Kim Cairns stand in the dealer hall. I've absolutely mint 4.2 crushed velour seats. Absolutely glorious. I would take that one home in a heartbeat. On the Maguire Showcase stand, really must give a shout out to those so hard to pick a favorite but if i had to it'd be the renault 11 turbo which is just fantastic a real left field hot hatchback choice on the citroen club stand there's the citroen xm bbc camera car which is a real oddball they're one of the fiat club stands listed as a fiat terror dormobile camper van conversion but it actually all points to it being a sayat terror whether it's a fiat or a sayat it's an absolutely fantastic camper van conversion. And there's a Lancia Beta Volumex, which is a supercharged coupe. It's a facelifted Series 2 model. Absolutely fantastic. I would have that in a heartbeat as well. I really enjoyed the Classic Mode Show 2022. I can highly recommend it. It's always a good show. It's also a great way of wrapping up the season. We can all go into our winter hibernation and get our cars ready for the spring. It's been it's been great as usual. Um, you normally uh, hear people say, "Oh, there's the same there every year," but actually, there's always something new to see, and I found that this year. Only I would pick this as a highlight. Mark 10 Jag. Uh, it's on the uh, M25 Classic stand. Beautifully patinaed, but it's lovely. It's just it, it's sort of scruffy looking, but it's just wonderful. It's a 3.8 triple car, manual car, original right hand drive, and it's just brilliant. It's got a bit of a sort of with nail character to it, but it's lovely for that. Alpha Sud on the Alpha Romeo Club stand, and it's just tremendous. Uh, they've got several Suds actually, which is not something you hear anyone say ever these days. A basic uh, four door 1.3 without the plastic spoilers or anything. It's an early car, it's a late 70s one, and it's just wonderful. I think it's original. It doesn't look to have been restored, and you know, how many Alpha Suds are in that kind of condition? It's, it's been good for me yeah i've enjoyed it i always love coming to the classic motor show it's right at the end of the year and for me it's one of the highlights it brings everyone together just when the weather's getting a bit rough we don't want to be outside hundreds of cars and thousands of people p4 drivers club i always love a rover p4 but they've actually got a recreation of the p4 jet turbine prototype on there which they were developing to put jet turbines into production on the road they've recreated a p4 prototype for it and that just looks incredible the attention to detail is brilliant and left field choice for me um, on the gay classic car group our old friends there they've got a rolls royce camargue which I love the Camargue, two-door silver shadow, and it's got its aeronautical inspired gauges and the grill that's cantered forward slightly to give more of a menacing look to it. The Camargue is so unusual, it's so rare, it's wild for a Rolls Royce and I love it. I love seeing one, so big highlight. I love this show because it brings the classic car community together. You've got all the clubs, you've got dealers, you've got all the parts specialists, you've got all the publishers like us, you've got enthusiasts coming together to celebrate the classic car hobby. And whether it's pre-war or supercars, 80s chod, whatever you like, you bring people together to talk about cars and just meet up for one last time and that's why I love it and that's why I love coming here as ever.
This video is proudly sponsored by Lancaster Insurance. Give them a call on 01480 400 889 for an insurance quote on your classic car. And don't forget to click the link below to enter their latest competition.